Well, this is the scene getting national attention. Hundreds of fans, many of them without masks, bombarded Franklin Street Saturday night just moments after the Tar Heels beat Duke in the Battle of the Blues. And fearing a super spreader event tonight, the university now promising consequences. CBS 17's Imani Payne back in Chapel Hill tonight. Imani, all of this happening as UNC students were planning to return to the classroom tomorrow. Franklin Street is much calmer tonight, but the uproar over what happened here has prompted an investigation and the possibility that many in-person classes set to start tomorrow will be remote. Empty streets and bars in Chapel Hill on Super Bowl Sunday. A much different scene from just 24 hours ago as UNC students rushed Franklin Street after their win over Duke, despite warnings not to due to the pandemic. Hey, so even, even, even in the here. pandemic, uh, the college students... Yeah. Mayor Pam Hemminger saying more than 100 students in the crowd have already been identified. So we thought they were taking it more seriously. Now that this has happened, we will be thinking differently. Um, the community is just so upset about this because it's so disrespectful to the people who are the most vulnerable. Despite hundreds of complaints, in-person classes for undergrads are still scheduled tomorrow. However, faculty does now have the option to continue with remote instruction for one week as a safety measure. UNC's chancellor saying all leads will be evaluated and students found to have violated COVID community standards will be subject to disciplinary action. Still, business owners in the area worry about the potential health and business risk created for the community. No one can really open while they're doing this kind of stuff. Like, how do they ever expect us to fully open with, like, mobbing the streets? And it's like, I know everyone wants it to be regular again, but it's going to be very difficult if they keep acting like that. Because it's not just, like, you know, a good time for them. It's impacting the whole community. And the university says students that violate COVID guidelines could be removed from student housing or even unenrolled from the school. For now, we're live in Chapel Hill. Imani Payne, CBS 17 News. All right, Imani, thank you for that. Well, during an